I was in my office finishing up the clinic day and uh, my assistant brought in regular day's work for signatures and pretty sure I opened the letter and I didn't realize what it was until I was cleaning my office two weeks later and I actually had the time to read everything and said to myself, wow, this seems pretty amazing, what is it? And then I did a little bit of research and found out um, and I was very honored and very humbled that I was chosen as this year's recipient. When I arrived at the University of Iowa, the colorectal surgery division already had an enhanced recovery protocol but it wasn't quite up to the current standards. So when I arrived here, I felt that it would be important to bring that back up to speed and with particular emphasis on patient education. The Enhanced Recovery After Surgery is a program that concentrates on getting the patient in the best possible shape prior to surgery with things like education, what to expect prior to surgery, how to prepare for in-hospital admission, things like nutrition, physical activity, preoperative evaluation, treatment of anemia, treatment of infection, then getting the patient through the recovery, making sure that we minimize narcotics, make sure we minimize IV fluids, that feeding is implemented as soon as the patient is able to tolerate, and that patients are able to go home usually by one to three days faster than they would otherwise. What patient knows going into the surgery is 90% of their success. So if we are entering an elective and low-risk surgery, uh, helping the patient recognize what is normal and abnormal, how best to prepare, which gives them a lot of a control over the situation back, and what to do after the surgery particularly to get better as fast as possible is very important. I do not know who nominated me, but I'd like to thank many, many people who are so instrumental in making sure that this program works. And again, I am incredibly honored and incredibly humbled that I am the recipient of this year's award. I'm sure there's many more people much more deserving than I am, and I think we just need to continue working for the benefit of our patients.